Hello everybody. In this video, we will see a question based on development of surface. The question is like this. A sugar jar is in the form of a right circular cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 60 mm and it rests on HP. An ant starts moving from the extreme left end of the base returns to its starting point after moving around it. Find geometrically the length of the shortest path the ant can take. Show this path in both front view and top view. Now, this is the this is the uh, this is the front view and top view of the cone. The cone is of radius 30 mm, diameter 60 mm. So first you draw a circle of diameter 60 mm or radius 30 mm and divide that into 8 equal divisions uh, taking 45 degrees each. Now we will name those points as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now project this, all these points to the reference line and mark the height of the object. Height is 60 mm and from all you project all these points to the base reference line and name those points as A dash, B dash, etc. And height is 60 mm. So from this reference, from this center point, you mark the height of the object 60 mm and draw that all those slant lines. So this is the front view and top view of the um, cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 60 mm. Now the development, to draw the development, you have an equation. Angle is equal to 360 into R by L, where R is the radius of, those of, radius of this object and L is the length of this land edge that is O dash E dash. So L is the length of this extreme generator that is O dash E dash. So uh, if you substitute that value, you will get this angle as 160 degrees. So uh, by using this equation, if you substitute R equal to 30 mm and L equal to length of this, uh, this line that is 66 mm around, you will get this angle as 160 degrees. So now you want to draw an arc like this having an arc radius of O dash E dash that is true length. This is the true length O dash E dash. Take O dash E dash as radius and draw an arc like this with an arc angle of 160 degrees. Now once you get that, once you complete that arc, you want to divide that arc into same number of divisions you took here. So here we took 8 divisions. So here, here also we want to take same 8 divisions. So uh, you can divide that either by using angular method or trial and method divide this 160 degrees or this entire angle into 8 divisions. Now this is the development of this cone. Now you do one thing. Now the the path, the, the and moves over the surface in such a way that it it moves over since the surface like over this cone like this and returns to the same point on the other uh, passing through the uh, uh, covering the entire surface in such a way that the path is the shortest distance. Okay. Now since it is the shortest distance so in development what you want to do is you just want to uh, connect this end A and A. Okay. So here we, uh, we after dividing this uh, this arc into I mean this uh, segment into uh, A divisions we want to name it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A. Okay. Now the, uh, the and starts from this point after passing over the surface returns to the same point. So the uh, the uh, the path covered since it is the shortest path the the path in development you can show it as a straight line from a to a so this is the path which is covered by the ant so this this line okay so this is the path of the ant now to show that path of the line in front view and top view what you want to do is here this is the now you you, you want to mark this point a is here, here only. Okay. Now the the distance a to this point. Okay. A to this point. That that distance you mark here. Okay. Distance from this apex to this point. That distance you mark here, and project that line to the that distance to the first line, second line like this. So this distance, this distance you want to mark on this extreme generator here, and then you project that distance to here. Next second point is here. Okay, so that distance, distance from here to this point, you mark here. Okay, on this extreme generator and project that to the third line. Next is this th third line. This is the fourth line. Okay, so distance from this point to here, you mark here. Okay, then that distance you project to sec the the fourth line. Next is this distance. So that distance you just mark here. And that, that point will be that same point. There is no, uh, okay. Now again, uh, next distance, you mark here. 
that is that will be the previous distance so you project here again other distance this distance to the same distance here project to the, the this this a third line next to this distance distance from here to here you project that to here and project that here and final point will be this point that is this base point or here or here okay now you will get some since you project all these points to the corresponding line you will get some points here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you draw a smooth curve through all these eight points okay nine points 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Okay, so you draw a smooth curve like this. You will get the uh, the show, the path of the hand in front view. Now, if you want to draw the path of the hand in top view, this A will be same point here. Okay, now this point, second point will be you want to project that to drop that point to this this line, uh, B and H. Okay, this point you drop that. This point is on the line O H. So this point you drop to the line O O H here O H. This point you drop to O H and O B. Okay, now this this point you cannot drop like this. So for that, what you want to do is you just take this distance from here to here, this distance. Okay, this distance from here to here. Measure that distance. Mark the distance here like this. Okay, this distance you want to mark mark it here and here. Okay. Next, other distances. At this point, this point you just drop to the next two lines, and the final point you drop to this point. Okay, so you'll get some points here. Now just connect those. Uh, just uh, use curves. Uh, using smooth curve, you can just uh, draw curves like this through all these three points, all these uh, all these points, so that you can get the uh, path of the ant like this. Smooth curves you want to draw. So this is the you can see that part of the curve. The part of the curve will be like this. this like this here to here here to here and here to here and here to here so in that way you can get the path of the hand in top view so uh, this is the development of the cone and this is the path of the hand in development and uh, this diagram shows the path of the hand in top view uh, in front view and this diagram shows the path of the hand in top view hope you understood this uh, how to draw this diagram thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much